Hey everybody, welcome to Prophecy Update Part 6. Okay, we got a lot of wars and rumors of wars this week. It's all over the news. Anyways, on to the first article. Iran's Great Prophet. The golf exercise to secure passageways for oil to the world. Okay, for starters, naming their exercise the Prophet should be a red flag. As we know, they're very big into symbolism and all that kind of stuff. So this is, and that in itself is a red flag. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corporation has begun a major naval exercise in the Gulf region. Officials said the three-day exercise titled The Great Prophet began on April 22nd and would last three days. Quote, the goal of these maneuvers is to affirm the security of the Gulf region which compromises the main passageway from transferring energy resources to the world. Iran Guards test new speedboat in key oil route. Revolutionary Guards launched a new ultra-fast boat capable of causing high destruction. After testing it in the key oil supply route during a three-day military exercise drill that began on Thursday. The most important message from this exercise in the face of the American nuclear threat is that we strongly resist them. The new vessels tested was in the strategically important waterway between the Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. Nearly 40% of the world's seaborne oil shipments pass through this waterway. Iran's leaders have said in the past that if attacked, the country would respond by shutting off the mouth of the Gulf through which around 40% of the world's oil and gas supplies pass, as well as by attacking American bases in the Gulf. If you control the oil of the world, you control a lot of the world. These things that we are seeing today are not just some lucid thing that are going to happen a thousand years from now. We are on the brink of seeing World War III break out. We are on the brink of seeing Yeshua Jesus come back. This is all on thin ice. And once one thing happens, I believe it's going to cause a dominoes effect. And we are going to see some things that we never in our lives thought that we were going to bear witness to. So get ready guys, because it's starting. Israeli officials weigh option of attacking Iran without U.S. consent. The Israeli security establishment is divided over whether it needs Washington's blessing if Israel decides to attack Iran. Some senior Israel officials say in interviews with the Wall Street Journal that they see signs Washington may be willing to live with a nuclear-armed Iran. Israel won't accept it. Israel says it supports the U.S.-led push for a new economic sanctions against Iran, but Israel officials have increasingly voiced frustration over the slow pace of diplomatic efforts to get sanctions in place. We don't have permission and we don't need permission from the U.S. We only have the exclusive responsibility when it comes to the fate of the security of Israel, and only we can determine the matters pertaining in the fate of Israel and the Jewish people, Barack said, but we must never lose sight of how important the U.S. relations are, or the ability to act in harmony and unity with the United States of America. I mean, it's very obvious that the United States of America is not on Israel's side and does not support Israel. If the United States of America did support Israel, they would not be selling $11 billion worth of weapons to the Arabs. The United States of America is completely disrespecting Netanyahu and even considering going against Israel and joining other countries and declaring Israel a Palestinian state without Israel's approval. Almost everybody knows Obama's a Muslim, so why would a Muslim want to attack a Muslim? This can only sit on thin ice for so long before somebody snaps or before something cracks. I mean, Israel cannot put this on hold forever, and they know that. Eventually, there will be a day where they attack Iran. There will be a day, and it's probably coming a lot sooner than we all think. Netanyahu, Iran provoking Israel-Syria conflict. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Iran is trying to provoke a war between Israel and Syria. Netanyahu says Iran is trying to convince Syria that an Israeli attack is imminent, which he says is a lie. Tensions have been high recently between Syria and Israel. The sides have traded threats, and last week Israel accused Syria of smuggling powerful rockets. Speaking in an interview on Thursday night with Israel's Channel 2, Netanyahu repeated the charge that Syria and Iran are arming Hezbollah. The, the Israel leader also called on the U.S. to impose sanctions to block the Iran's nuclear program. U.S. Scud allegations rally Israeli attack Syria and Hezbollah. 
Over the weekend, U.S. allegations of Syria supplying the group with Scud missiles were baseless and encouraged an Israeli attack on Lebanon, as Israel jets harassed southern residents on Saturday night. He said the idea of Hezbollah receiving weapons from Syria was the creation of Israel aggression. There is no smuggling of missiles, and basically the whole story is fabricated by Israel. Right. As if they've never smuggled missiles before. Lebanese Army's statement on Sunday said that the Israeli warplanes have dropped a number of flare bombs over the village Saturday evening, where a meeting from the forthcoming elections was being held in the house of the village's mayor. Hezbollah has recently refused to comment on its arsenal, which Israel Defense Minister Barak has said consists of over 40,000 rockets. The Sunday Times reported that Israel had transmitted a warning to Syria, threatened to take it back to the Stone Age. Quote, we will return Syria to the Stone Age by crippling its power stations, ports, fuel, storage, and every bit of strategic infrastructure if Hezbollah dares to launch missiles against us. An Israel minister who remained anonymous quoted saying, We know when Isaiah that it says Damascus will be a ruinous heap. A lot of times when prophecy is fulfilled, people say, oh, well, that's happened before. So how do we know this is the real deal? Damascus, located in Syria, is said to be one of the oldest populated cities of the entire world. There are no historical records of it ever being completely destroyed. So when it does turn into a ruinous heap and is indeed turned to the Stone Age. There will be no explanations. There will be no saying it has happened before. It will be 100% irrefutable proof that the Word of God is being fulfilled. Spoken by the prophet Isaiah, this will happen. It's not a matter of if, it's only a matter of when. And I believe in this generation. So keep your eyes on this Syria-Israel conflict because there will be a day where Damascus will be a ruinous heap. Anyways, that's all I got for today, guys. Keep watching Israel. Keep your eyes on Yeshua Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the light and nobody's going to get to the Father except through him. If you are not saved, this is not a time for games. If you are not right with the Lord, this is not a time to, to be messing around because he is coming back soon. He's returning for his people. You do not want to be taken as a thief in these days to come. We have some hard times ahead. Get right with the Lord if you aren't right with the Lord. Because things are going to get hard. Things are going to get tough. And you're going to need Him now more than any other time. So be prepared and be ready. Get the armor of God on. Arm yourselves accordingly to His word. Because without Him, there is no way we are going to make it.